We challenged ourselves to go on a 2,000 kilometer road trip across Blizzard in Canada without using Google once. What's going on friends and welcome back to Tech Boom Season 2. It feels good to be back. We're back. Yes. Woo! So to start things off with some adventure, David and I decided to go on a 2,000 kilometer road trip across frigid Western Canada without using Google once. So that means no Google search, no Google Maps, and most importantly, no Google Plus. <laughs> Okay, Google Plus doesn't exist anymore, thank God. But basically, we're saying no Google search and no equivalents either. So obviously no Apple Maps or Siri or Bing. <laughs> my phone is Google, I, I use the Google Pixel. Does this mean I can't use my phone? I mean, I'm gonna need to be able to call and text for this challenge, so I'm gonna just have to not use any of the Google features. Question is, how dependent am I on those Google features and the internet in general? I guess we'll find out. Let's do it. Hello. Uh, all right, planning time, Vancouver. We have a few days to get there and no Google to get there. So like, this is my idea. Place. We know the sun rises this way. Vancouver yes. is uh, the opposite direction. Just drive like towards the sun. Yeah, Dr drive. As long as we keep our trajectory towards, towards the, sun. the sun, always. Then we should get close. Eventually. Okay, we need a map. I've never looked, but I feel like a gas station would be where you would find I a map. I feel like that's where historically you would find right. a map, the gas Lucky. station. Also, we need gas. Also, we need snacks. So, gas station. Okay. See you in Vancouver. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Look at the beast. In wonderful condition. All right. Here we go. Leaving the door which way? Step one. Gas station, right? Right, right, I guess. Follow, follow something. It's over there. I swear to God, every single time I go to one gas station on Gates, yeah, they always try and sell me on a car wash. It's making a very weird noise back here. What's that? that? What was that noise? And we made it to the gas station. First objective. First objective complete. complete. Not too bad, dude. Perfect. All right. We got the map. We got a map. Alberta and British Columbia. This should be everything that so we need, want hopefully. Six dollars for a map, by the way. Google Maps, free. You get the, the entire universe, any street in the world Solid. for British Columbia and Alberta. Six, six dollars. I guess, David, you try and figure out what the heck the map actually means, and I will start uh, heading in the direction that I think I know. I don't even know how to open this. Right? I've used the map once. Oh. It was so we are in roughly in this area right here. So basically, we want to get all the way over here. Yeah, so we should follow that all, look at all those roads we need to follow all the way. I got it, I got it. it. It isn't that hard, dude, it isn't that hard. You just follow highway number one. <laughs> highway number one, baby. Highway number one okay. all the way to Vancouver. This we figured out. Good. Who needs Google this Maps? No easier. one. <laughs> we thought. Moments later. I think we already took a wrong turn. It's the so first turn we had to take, I messed it up. <clears throat> so. We're only a couple hours in and we've already hit dead stop traffic. Yes. Um, uh, I can like guarantee you that if we were using Google Maps right now, it would have taken us like around the city in the way traffic. Google Maps let Google you know Google would have not have taken that. us this way. They would have known. We get to, it's a, it's a scenic route. True, scenic There's route. There's more to, more to see. see. Yep. Watch for the blues cause I know that they dump it. Nothing in my view so it's hush on discussion. Hush on discussions, you know what you need to. I keep it in. All right, first stop, we uh, made it to Banff, no problem. Uh, I didn't know how to get here though, so I don't know if that exactly counts. Come in, a come in, a come, gotta get it. I've been playing with you. Four hours in now, and uh, the ability to not look up where the nearest bathroom is has been a problem. But Wait, is that a bathroom? Signs. That's a bathroom. Pull over. Oh, oh too late. We missed it. Dude. No. I'm sorry, Josh. <laughs> I'm sorry. And now I'm running like there's no tomorrow. My life was on a one-way track. The same story about happy ending. Oh, I could set this world on fire. I could tear this town apart. All right. We made it to our uh, destination for the day. Kamloops. That's actually pretty far. We made it all the way. Where is it? It's actually more than halfway there. Yeah. So, um, boom, boom, boom. Kamloops. We made it. So, I guess the next challenge would be try and find a hotel 
yeah. without <laughs> using our phones. How do we even do that? All right, let's see if this is even a thing that exists. A hotel map, I'll be right back. Kamloops area map, recreation and business guide. And uh, he said it might have hotels on it. So basically it's like a town directory. So yeah, then th those things. With a painted smile, I was the willow tree. Hi, um, I'm just wondering if you guys have any vacancy for tonight. Two, five, zero. Ooh, cool, what's your guys' rate? Hi, um, I'm looking to get a hotel tonight. I'm looking uh, for a room for three tonight. Uh, be three, three more. Get the locator logo here. So if you go to page 27, we can actually see uh, dude, this is actually like, this is a functional system. Yes! <laughs> this is so interesting, dude. Who would have thought? Okay, cool. Sandman Center. There's a Sandman Center, and then there's a 5%. This is like a, this is not, this Oh, is yeah, like, this is like, this is whole, gonna be like $300. I'm sorry. This is like the expo. Like $300. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this place seems like fancy, bro. What, um, what price would we take this one at? 200 bucks? Would we take it? No. No, no, no. no. Maybe, uh, 180? 135. Whoa, 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 that's the same price as the other one, though. Right. Like you have to realize we're getting quality for our money. A hundred fifty-three is five dollars more than. Uh, so I'm actually giving you a little bit more. Yeah, let's do one hundred fifty. Okay. Let's see. Before taxes, so. Whoa. <laughs> it's like we're ballers here, okay? Starting late for tonight is one thirty-nine plus taxes. Yes. Wow. That's impressive. Hell yeah. I want that. We do. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have a pool? And at what time do they close? <laughs> we do have a pool and a hot tub. It's open till 11 p.m. Awesome. Beautiful. So on our hunt for a hotel, we ended up just stopping at the person we saw. And the rate's pretty good and it's very nice. So I think we're just stopping here. David's putting down the details. Oh. oh my god, are you kidding me? This is like a... Holy moly. Yes. <laughs> I love it. All of these were $139. No way, dude. <laughs> what? what? Who needs Google, stop dude? Look, just Random stop at the first place you see. Okay, so we actually ended up finding this super nice hotel. I say our first night on this trip, we hit up the hot tub. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stand here while take a little time. All right, road trip day one. We started by making our way down to Calgary, we took highway number one and pretty much just stay there through Banff, through the mountains, through little towns, all the way to our final destination for the first day, Cam Loops. For day two, we want to get all the way over here. Day two, room with a view. Ready to continue our journey? Yes. Let's do it. We want to take um, this road through Whistler because I heard it's really cool. Oh, it's like a windy, way. crazy road. All but right. I'm wondering if weather-wise right now, since we can't Google it, do you know if this is going to be open? Is it going to be like bad um, weather? Like Yeah, yeah, no, it's open. It's open, okay. It's open. Might be kind of sketchy. Um, what do you think? It's a beautiful drive. Yeah, exactly. That's what we thought. It's really, really nice cool. Drive. All right, well, we will give it a shot then. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for your help. Wait, do we know how to get to the highway? Huh? Do we know how to Oh, yeah. It? How do we get to the highway from here? Is there any way to that as well? Definitely like keeping it up. Yeah, you want to get to Columbia Street and turn right. Columbia yeah. Street is the main road. Okay. And then Columbia Street joins onto the highway. Okay. All right. There we go. We got some directions. Uh, she seemed very positive and like we would survive doing that trip. So I so think that we're going to send it. She said right away. Uh, okay. On Caroline Street, I believe. Was it Columbia Street? Columbia Street? Ah. <laughs> So it's starting to really snow. We are on our way on the scenic route to, to Whistler and then Vancouver. We have no cell phone signal here, so we couldn't even use Google if we wanted to. Our car breaks down and we get stuck here. So we're going to even call for help, dude. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about this scenic route we recommended, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Scenic route's paying off. Go give a look. Holy moly, this is ice. Yeah, you're nice, yeah. Ice, we, I never, I've never been on top of like. You've been on ice. You've never seen ice. Do Far away. Like, look, look at this. Best. This is water. Yeah, this frozen water, buddy. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The lake makes noises is the point, it makes noises. <laughs> Alright, well that was pretty cool. Um, it's actually very cold out though, so I'm gonna go back in the car now. We got some cool little pictures though. Bang, bang, bang. Every good road trip, you gotta get some good Insta's use that. And uh, yeah, on to the next location.
Oh no! We're lost! Boom! Alright, cool. Oh, thumbnail. Got a thumbnail. thumbnail capture. <laughs> now let's explore this place. This is actually so cool. scenic route road it's been quite a while but it's been absolutely amazing and we're hoping we can make it to whistler pretty soon uh we've been stopping a lot because of all the amazing things that we've been seeing along the way yeah next stop whistler hopefully we can find something fun to do there before it gets too dark look at the snowboarders hell yeah we found our people. And we are in Whistler now. We don't know what we're gonna do. We wanna check it out because it's this really cool like ski town, but we don't know what exactly to look up. And we kind of just drove around in circles for a long time, not knowing where to like even stop. Uh, so we decided to actually call up our friend who uh, lives in Whistler and uh, see if he had any recommendations. Because uh, yeah, we can't really look anything up ourselves. So yeah, we're, we're, we're phoning a friend. And <laughs> we'll see how it works. <laughs> And we're in Whistler. Look how cold Josh looks. He's like, Dude, I'm not happy. Cold, I'm unhappy. <laughs> okay, so this is our friend Francisco that we met in Hawaii. And uh, he works here, so he's showing us around. It is a beautiful little town. And then uh, hopefully we'll still make it to Vancouver tonight, I think, yeah, after this. Sure. But yeah, so far we're just going to chill. It's a cool little town. So yeah, thanks so much, Francisco. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, bro. Awesome. Welcome to Vancouver. Our boys are back in town. Yep. Oh, it is uh, about 10 p.m. and we made it to Vancouver. Almost on after, 11 p.m. Yeah, almost 11 p.m. after a fun night in uh, Whistler. We drove the rest of the way, so thanks David for driving that. Nicely done. And uh, we are now uh, looking for a hotel. We stopped at a gas station, try and find one of those pamphlets like we had before. Because again, we can't, we don't know where to go for a hotel or anything. This time, we're in a big city and like, it's easy to get lost. We got off the highway once and we were like, we don't know where we are or anything. We did get a Vancouver map from that gas station, but there's just too much information on it. Like it's hard, it's like it's massive. Yeah, there's a lot. Exactly. And of course, uh, th those type of maps don't have actual hotel information. So uh, let's start up by just asking the first hotel we see what their rate is. Okay, so five million, uh, giant map struggles later. And I think we know where we're going. We're currently in North Vancouver and we just need to get um, from, where is it, Capilano Road onto this bridge. Wait, no, this, this is not even right, dude. Dude, you're, you're, you're the, wrong, the wrong side of the map. The wrong side of the map, dude. Up here, yes, there we go. Look at this, look at what I'm, what I'm dealing with here, guys. Look, what the heck. Look at that, you can see the city. Heck Calm yes, down. dude. Dude, we actually like, we've almost made it at this point. Yeah. I'm impressed, dude. Go us, hallelujah. Okay, so we found a little information thing just on the side of the road, so we stopped, and uh, it does actually have hotels on it. So I have a plan. We don't get a hotel tonight. We just ro walk on, re knock on random doors of these guys who are having parties and see if one of them will let us spend the night. Or we go back to my Tinder method. <laughs> All right, boom, this is it. The Coast Harbor Hotel. Let's check it out. This looks much nicer than the hotel we were at before. But what's the price like? That's the question. After you. So this place was sold out. Great. <laughs> Moving on. Pinnacle Hotel. Let's give it a shot. Uh, we're ordering to have any other tonight. Tonight, we are sold out. The Lodge Inn and Suites. Hello. We're just curious to see if we have any rooms available for tonight. Alright, next stop, Marriott. Marriott. We're wondering if you guys have any availability tonight or not. 
I do want to let you know we have a power outage that's going to happen from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. So there will be like no power sure. <laughs> to get cheaper price because of that. Yeah. Uh, we, do, we do have rooms and then the price that is right now, it's $2.99, but due to power outage, I can go till $2.49, but that's the cheapest I can go to $2.49. So far, most of the hotels have been either fully booked or really expensive, and the one had like a power outage. So uh, if we don't find anything here, we might actually try to head out of downtown a little bit. That's what we're dealing with right now. Hotel of the Soul. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, we're wondering if you had uh, any availability for tonight. Oh, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> I remember she told me we were sold out. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. So, same old, same old, more and more sold out hotels. So, we're trying to find our car again now, and I guess we're gonna try and drive a little bit further out of the city. I just wish we could Google it, dude. We're just walking around, and everything is freaking booked up. Correct. Back to the map. Did I um, GPS us back to the highway? We cannot. Sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. It looks like hotel right? Oh, I think it's a casino. Oh, uh, yeah. It's only one o'clock in the morning. God damn it. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at a casino. Hotel Casino because we are desperate. It's 1 a.m. I don't think they have rooms here. Uh, Finn has been there for a while. I don't know what's going on. Things are not good, looking good, guys. Appreciate your Google Maps. Oh, he's coming back with information. He has paper on his guy. Oh, he, he's going back. He's going back again. More information, dude. More. Just squeeze all the information. Oh, water. Oh, Delta Hotels, the MVP. MVP. So, she did not have availability. But she called hotels in the area for us yes. and gave us a map of how to get there and free water a and Google <laughs> map. We have officially there. failed this freaking challenge. God dang it. Yep. I mean, does this count? I don't know. Uh, she was like, I'll show you how to get there. And I was like, oh, you're sweet. And then she's like, yeah, I have a map. And then she printed it out and gave you this. <laughs> it's a printed out okay, version well, of Google Maps. Wait. <laughs> That's what it ends up with. Okay, let's switch. Yep. <laughs> Well, uh, with Google Maps, we uh, easily <laughs> found it <laughs> with our Google Map printout. Our Google Map printout did not fail us. Oh my goodness, a wonderful, beautiful looking hotel. Let's go. Let's do this! Freaking Google Maps. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it looks so nice though. Oh, see what Google Maps can get you. <laughs> Getting our weather forecast from the TV. Day two, we've made it to Vancouver. Finally found a hotel, uh, but yeah, things didn't go as smoothly this time. Started off well enough, continuing uh, through highway number one before changing it up to 97 north and then 99 south. Things were going pretty smoothly all the way to Whistler where we enjoyed some good times. The cold with our friend Francisco. But after that, oh boy, we started making our way down to Vancouver and were immediately lost in the big city. The helpful Pato pamphlets we found in Kamloops were not in Vancouver. I don't know, maybe they are. We didn't find them. We tried a bunch of hotels. None of them were exactly what we wanted, but when it's 1 a.m. in the morning, you settle. That's what you do at 1 a.m. in the morning. You appreciate Google Maps and settle. But at the end of the day, we are here. We've made it, and now it's about finding the best ways to enjoy Vancouver without Google.
right, that was an experience. 2,000 kilometers on the road using no Google. I actually feel like I learned a lot doing this. Yeah. Mainly, I learned that I actually am pretty dependent on Google. But not totally dependent. Not totally dependent, not totally. but pretty dependent. The yeah. thing is, like, only a few years ago, people lived their lives without Google. And so without Google, we're more than capable of, you know, getting where we needed to go and having a bunch of fun in the process. Having said that, it's amazing how much we take for granted the amazing value that these services provide. I want to take the most out of what Google is telling me, you know, so you can get the most out of everything, the entire experience. But also, pay a little more attention to what my eyes are seeing and uh, if you see something cool or recommended something, just send it. Don't because be afraid, Google, you know. Google will always be able to get you back on track if you have it. So uh, yeah, yeah, overall, it was a great experience on this trip and I feel like I learned a lot and it was one of the most fun yes. and crazy videos and trips that we've done so far. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, we have more of this content coming. So if you did enjoy this video, if you thought it was awesome, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the bell. If you, made this, if you made it this far, you know you want to subscribe. You know you want to subscribe. You know you want to subscribe. Come on. Come on. Tech Kaboom, season two, baby. All right. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? What are we doing? <laughs>